He's known as the Usher of the Black Rod, and he's here to invite MPs to come to the Senate to hear a speech that is itself an invitation to work together. There are good ideas across parties, and this government is ready to learn from you. A new parliament, a new approach to help the Liberals win the support of another major party to survive and pass a progressive legislative agenda. That includes better health care and affordable housing, lower taxes for the middle class and those who need it most. There's also the promise of bold action on climate change with a contradictory nod to pipelines by promising to get resources to market, a speech written to win support from as many as possible. You will disagree on many things, but you will agree on a great many more. We need some firmer commitments. We need some real action to tackle the urgent problems that people are facing, not just saying the right words. After all the nice words, the NDP remains skeptical, withholding their support to maintain their leverage. The Bloc Québécois, however, is on board, seeing this speech as the start of a negotiation. To get things, to make some gains for Quebec. That's enough to survive, not enough to make peace. Well, that was uh, disappointing. Andrew Scheer, under pressure to save his job, sees nothing in this speech to help oil workers keep theirs. Justin Trudeau has divided this, this country. He has divided this country. He has pitted region against region. That is not the way to keep this confederation together, and we will show Canadians a better way. Okay, so uh, hearing that speech today, David, it did seem like there were lots of specifics, but it sounded like stuff I've heard before. Yeah, this was really a recitation of the Liberal election platform. The thing missing was a lot of attacks on Doug Ford, which is really the centerpiece right. of their campaign. What was new today was the tone, this willingness to cooperate because of necessity of a minority parliament. The one really new thing we saw was a willingness to consider a national dental care mm -hmm. plan. This is something Jagmeet Singh campaigned on and made a condition of his support in a minority parliament. No promise to do it, but a promise to consider it and a willingness to listen today from the Liberals. Okay, so that's already a changed. Andrew Scheer, though, certainly didn't hear anything that he was willing to cooperate on. No, he doesn't feel listened to. He doesn't feel like the people <laughs> who voted for him felt listened to. And he yeah. made clear he wants changes in this throne speech. He says he's going to bring an amendment to the House of Commons when Parliament resumes sitting tomorrow to put in things that was from the Conservative agenda, in particular things to scrap key parts of the Liberals' environmental legislation, Bill C-69, Bill C-48, things the Liberals simply aren't going to do. Mm -hmm. So shift in tone to more from cooperation today to capitulation tomorrow. Okay, things change quickly up here. Thank you, David. I appreciate it.